I'm Sam and welcome back to another episode of Vinyl Bites where I will be taking a random record from my collection and talk about it in a bite-sized video. Today we will be talking about 12 Bar Brews, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So here's the record. I first bought this record in the reissue bundle back in 2018 where there was the great flightless crash. I remember going onto flightless.com at 9am in the morning and trying to purchase the bundle and the website crashed and I was incredibly stressed because I thought that I wouldn't be able to get it. I remember they reopened the website sometime later where you could then purchase it without the, the fear of the website crashing. So this is the Muckraker edition limited to 5,000. Let me take out the record. This is the inner sleeve. Pretty awesome sort of purple and green splatter on a opaque clear vinyl. So since I was able to put my pre-order in to get this and the four other records in the bundle, it came with this bonus slip mat. Now I know these slip mats were selling for quite a bit of money on eBay, however um, I think their value has since dropped completely. I don't really use it myself, uh, I just keep it in the back of my Willoughby's BGP. I think that this album gets quite overlooked now because King Gizzard have such a prolific discography at this point. I'm sure that there's a big subsection of their fan base that love their music but aren't actually aware of this record since it is pretty old now, it's eight years old. But going back and listening to this record you can really see some of the footworks being put in place for their sound that was to develop over the years. A lot of this material is very psychedelic garage rock. Now the artwork for this edition has been changed. Now they altered the artwork for Willoughby's Beach and 12 Bar Brews and Eyes Like the Sky. And uh, it's cool but I would prefer if they had the original version printed. I do respect though that the artist Jason Galea drew this new interpretation which sort of forms as a sequel to the original cover. We have here, we have this great big lizard monster and uh, I know for example in the corner here you can see that there's a bunch of slaughtered bear people. In the original cover those same bear people were attacking this monster but now they're dead. So even though the artwork has been changed um, I can still appreciate that there is a bit of artistic integrity in the changes for this cover. If you know of King Gizzard and you're, or you're starting to get into them, um, definitely check this album out. It is worth a listen. It is a good album. It is just very different to what they make now. I really do enjoy a lot of the tracks on this album, uh, that including Elbow, Muckraker, Nine, Bloody Ripper, Uh Oh, I Called Mum, Footy Footy. There is also the song Sam Cherry's Last Shot, which is a cowboy western style narrated track uh, with a narration done by Broderick Smith, who then uh, join the, the band again to make Eyes Like the Sky, which is very much so in that same vein. Overall, it's a really solid record. Um, sometimes this gets put at the, the bottom of the list in terms of fan favourites, and I can understand why, because the band has gone on to do a lot more interesting things, but it's still a really good record. If you're a fan of Garage Rock or you're new to listening to King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, definitely check this out. My rating for this album would be a strong 7. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard are one of my favourite bands of all time. I've seen them multiple times. I've met the majority of them. Uh, they're all really nice guys. So having this album in my collection is a must. And that pretty much wraps up all I want to say about this album. Check out 12 Bar Brews and I'll see you next time.